Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Sacred Sage and I hope you guys are having a good day. Today we're going to be talking about lowering render time, but before that, as a reminder, if this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, consider subscribing or leaving a like or a comment. I'd really appreciate that. So with that out of the way, let's hop in. Okay, lowering render time. As soon as I load a new scene, the first thing I do is I check every single item for anything that can be emissive. So I loaded this scene. I hope it has an emissive. I haven't checked. I'm assuming it does because I see candles. So let's let's uh, hop in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. First thing I do is I select this surface tab, right? And then let's say the boiler. The boiler's bound to have one. Now we click on the boiler and we type in lumen. Boom. Do you see that? 500 lumen coming from the fireplace. That is an emissive. The reason why I know this is an emissive is because they don't have a spotlight or a ghost light in here. Because if it's a ghost light, it'd be by itself. And if it was a spotlight, you'd see the big rectangle, right? And it wouldn't be combined to the boiler. So we automatically know this is an emissive. So what we do is we, boom, shut it down to zero. And what I do is I will take my own ghost lights and we make a new one. So we, re re if I can talk correctly, we replace an emissive with a ghost light. So I don't know the whole understanding of it. All I know is emissive makes render time skyrocket. Ghost lights lower the render time. And that's just always been the case. So anytime I can, I use ghost lights. And basically what I do is I just go right here and let's see, it's fiery like. So I'll just add an orange, go over here and go into double sided light to make it bounce around in there. Don't want it too blue. So I'd make it more roughly around 5,000, which is whitish because it's already an orange color and bam. I'd leave it at that. And then I would go through each individual item looking and replacing that. So let's go back up to the top. I'm not going to do all these naturally because it'd take forever. But the quick way is if you click here and then you type in Lumen, right? Now we already did this one. But if you keep Lumen right here in this little search engine, we can click here. See how it's darkened out? That means there is no lumen. So let's go until we see one that does light up. As soon as that lights up, that lets me know that lumen is in that object. Bam, candle two. You see how it lit up? So now I know there's lumen there. And then I just keep going. Oh, this one lit up. Bam. And I literally just make all of these zero and just boom. And then put a ghost light on pretty easy and that right there will save you considerable amount of time right off the bat I had some of the areas that I used to work with like a bar has a lot of lights and reflection each render was taking like two hours I'm like oh no this this is dead mm -mm. so I started looking into ways to make render times start dropping and decreasing so that right there is one of the biggest factors in render time another one is memory space right so as you know daz holds all these objects in your gpu memory space so my 3060 i have i have 12 gigs of ram once i reach that 12 gigs of ram i start rendering by the cpu and you are you already know how that works one iteration at a time uh -uh. no 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 so one thing that i have learned is there is a asset that you can get off the DAS store, but you could do this yourself too by making duplicates and uh, nodes and whatnot. So what I do, I'll show you the, the homemade way first. So let's say we have two of these chairs, right? We can go up and create, and then we can create a, where are you at? New node instance. And then, sure, okay. Oh, nope, that ain't, that ain't right. Hold on. Boop. Create. 
Oh, that is it. Node instance and node instances. I don't know why they have two different ones. So this one is just like, we're going to make another one. This one's like, we can make like 5 million of them, right? So it, it, the only difference is this one asks you how many you want. So let's say we want five. Okay, cool. And then here are five of the same item, but it doesn't take up any more memory. Um, so it, it, it saves on space. So you can replace duplicate items that way, which is the extremely long and hard way. Or there's this asset that you can purchase off the dash store, so and it does all that stuff for you. So Instantify, this scene has already been Instified, so I can't do it. But basically, it'll bring up a window, and it'll ask like about polygons and 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 you know all all sorts of stuff, and it'll just like start taking your duplicates and crushing them and deleting them w while replacing them with an instance. So that, that's really helpful. Kind of sucks that I couldn't show you on this one. Um, the next thing that would lower render time is hiding stuff that is not in your scene. So let's say I'm going to take an image. Let me create a camera real quick. So let's say I'm going to create an image. And my shot is I'm just taking a shot at this desk, like the books and whatnot, right? Well... If I'm, oops, hold on. Okay, so I'm taking a shot of this, uh, of these books and everything, right? I don't need everything in my memory. So, all this stuff like this barrel over here, right? We can hide that. We don't, we don't, we don't need any of this. And every item that you hide is just memory saved. And the more memory saved, the quicker your render is going to be. So I would literally just hide everything. I don't worry about this so much now that I got a 3060, but back when I only had like 4 gigs and 6 gigs of RAM on my GPU, I used to do this for every single scene. So I'm like, oh, okay, and then hide everything, then render it out. It took forever, but that right there saves a hell of a lot of rendering time as well. Some of the major factors dealing with render time is reflections and windows, right? So... If you can avoid a window shot or you don't want to deal with that render time, just don't have much of the window in there. Or you could, some windows, I you can take the reflection off actually, but they tend to not look as good because everyone knows when you look at a window, you know, there's going to be reflection. So when you see a window that has absolutely no reflection and it looks just like a, there's not even a window there, it looks terrible. So I normally keep reflections there, but... As a reminder, reflections is a big, big rendering time kind of thing, right? So if I'm, let's say I have a character that is sweating that just came out from, or swimming, right? Just came out from the pool and they're coming inside and you got some sliding glass doors in the scene or whatnot. I would totally try to hide the reflection because the render time is already going to be higher due to the water effect you would have on the model's body, right? Because basically that's reflection as well. You're just making making it reflect a bunch of light easier. So it makes it look like they're sweaty or wet or whatnot. So those are the main ways I reduce render time. So I wipe all the emissives lights from all the objects. I then instantify all the objects and then I start hiding stuff to save on memory. Now, another note to, to make on the stuff that you make instances for and you duplicate. You cannot use D-Force with those. So, let's say I made a copy of this chair. Now, I can use D-Force with this chair. And what I mean by D-Force, using D-Force is I have a character that has a dress. You can D-Force that and the dress will lay on the object like it was sitting on it, right? Well, with instances, it's like it's not even there. It'll fall right through. So, you, if you're going to do any kind of D-Force on the, the instance type object, just use the original one. You can just replace them. So, if, if it was going to use like... Let's say this one is this chair right here is instanced and this one is not and your character is over here I'm like well shit you know I, I want to deforce the dress you can just you can just switch them out just like control C move that one out the way and then click on this control V 
and then oh shoot it did not go where i wanted it to anyways but you can just you can just move it and be like whoop come on now and then you can just deforce it with that chair, right? So that's that's the general idea. I instify everything that I have in my scenes, and I just when you instify them, they go in a separate group. So your originals stay in one group, while your other ones stay in another. So you can quickly find which which one is uh, the original, not right. So just keep that in mind when you're doing the instify and you're trying to do deforce or whatnot. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.